On November 18, 2023, SpaceX embarked on its second test flight of the Super Heavy Starship, a colossal rocket touted as the most powerful ever built. As enthusiasts and space industry insiders eagerly awaited the outcome, the mission took an unexpected turn, leaving both SpaceX and NASA grappling with the implications of another setback. The Super Heavy Starship, standing at an impressive 397 feet tall and weighing a staggering 11 million pounds, initiated its journey from SpaceX's Boca Chica launch site on the Texas Gulf Coast. The scene was reminiscent of a futuristic spectacle as the 33 methane-burning Raptor engines ignited with a torrent of flame, engulfing the rocket in clouds of dust and steam. Despite the initial drama, the early stages of the mission seemed promising. The rocket, fueled by more than 40,000 pounds of methane and liquid oxygen per second, ascended slowly into the sky, captivating thousands of onlookers from nearby South Padre Island, Texas. This launch, coming nearly seven months after an April 20 maiden test flight that ended in a spectacular conflagration, was a pivotal moment for SpaceX. The first test flight, marred by multiple engine failures, problems with stage separation, and a catastrophic tumble, had provided a harsh lesson for the company. With the second attempt, SpaceX aimed to demonstrate the reliability of its super-heavy Starship and make strides toward achieving its ambitious goals. The second test flight exhibited improvements over the initial attempt. All 33 Raptor engines powering the first stage fired as expected, and a new hot staging system, igniting the Starship's engines before separation, worked as designed. However, the elation turned to disappointment as, moments after separation, the first stage unexpectedly broke apart, possibly due to stresses imposed by the hot staging technique. The Starship, undeterred by the fate of its counterpart, continued its ascent towards space powered by its six Raptor engines. As the world watched, the mission seemed to be progressing well until about eight and a half minutes into the flight when controllers lost contact with the rocket. The vehicle had vanished from the view of long-range tracking cameras, leaving a sudden, shimmering disturbance in the atmosphere as a potential sign of its destruction. SpaceX engineer John N. Sprecher delivered the disheartening news, stating, We have lost the data from the second stage. Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder, huddled with flight controllers, examining computer monitors in an attempt to unravel the mystery behind the mission's unexpected turn. Moments later, Insprucker provided additional insights, revealing, the automated flight termination system on the second stage appears to have triggered very late in the burn as we were headed downrange out over the Gulf of Mexico. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, announced its involvement in the mishap investigation process, emphasizing the need to ensure public safety before approving a return to flight for the Super Heavy Starship. While the specifics of why the Super Heavy booster broke apart and why the Starship upper stage failed remained unknown, SpaceX underscored the importance of learning from each test. In a social media post, the company stated, With a test like this, success comes from what we learn, and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson echoed a similar sentiment, congratulating the teams involved in the flight test and emphasizing the bold spirit and daring innovation required for space exploration. Despite the setback, Nelson's supportive words hinted at a shared understanding of the challenges inherent in pushing the boundaries of space travel. The failure of the super-heavy Starship launch, while a setback for SpaceX, has broader implications for NASA's Artemis program. The program, designed to return astronauts to the moon, relies on the success of the Starship to carry out its ambitious lunar exploration plans. SpaceX's ability to address and resolve the issues that led to the mission's failure is critical to maintaining the timeline for Artemis and subsequent crewed moon landings. This recent failure follows the maiden test flight in April, where the pad suffered serious damage, the Super Heavy experienced multiple premature engine shutdowns, and the stage separation system failed, ultimately leading to the rocket's destruction. 
the FAA conducted an investigation and identified multiple root causes of the mishap, requiring SpaceX to implement 63 corrective actions. Elon Musk disclosed that SpaceX had implemented well over a thousand changes to enhance safety and performance. The final approval for the recent launch came after a comprehensive review of the rocket's potential impact on area wildlife. Notable upgrades included the introduction of the hot staging system, a water deluge system to reduce acoustic shock during engine ignition, and the replacement of hydraulic actuators with an electrically driven engine steering system. The Super Heavy Starship, in Elon Musk's vision, heralds a new era in space transportation. Standing 40 stories tall and generating a staggering 16.7 million pounds of thrust, the rocket surpasses the power of NASA's Space Launch System and the legendary Apollo-era Saturn V. Musk envisions the super-heavy Starship as a vehicle capable of making humanity of multi-planet species, with the potential to transport cargo, passengers, and even facilitate low-cost government and commercial flights to destinations like the Moon and Mars. NASA, recognizing the significance of the Super Heavy Starship, has invested billions in a variant of the Starship for its Artemis program. The contract, awarded in 2021, tasks SpaceX with developing a version of the Starship upper stage to carry astronauts to the lunar surface within the next two to three years. The success of this collaboration hinges on SpaceX's ability to demonstrate the reliability required for crewed missions. To achieve lunar landings with the Starship, SpaceX must first refuel the spacecraft in low Earth orbit, a process involving robotically transferring thousands of gallons of supercold cryogenic propellants carried by multiple Starship tankers. The number of tankers required remains uncertain, but NASA managers have indicated the need for more than a dozen for each Starship intended for lunar missions. NASA's contract stipulates the necessity of an unpiloted lunar test flight before astronauts attempt a landing. Despite official targets aiming for a lunar landing with astronauts by late 2025, SpaceX's pace in developing the Starship system raises questions about the feasibility of meeting this timeline. The company's focus on advancing space transportation technology and addressing challenges encountered during test flights underscores the complexity of the endeavor. Beyond NASA's lunar aspirations, private individuals have also embraced the potential of the super-heavy Starship for commercial space travel. Billionaire Jared Isaac Mann, known for chartering the first private crew Dragon flight in 2019, plans to be aboard the first piloted orbital flight of a Starship as part of his Polaris Dawn program. Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maizawa, who visited the International Space Station in 2021, has chartered a Starship flight named Dear Moon for a privately funded around-the-moon voyage with 10 artists and influencers. A third civilian Starship flight is also in the works, carrying 12 passengers, including space station veteran Dennis Tito and his wife. Tito, who paid an estimated $20 million for a visit to the International Space Station in 2001, eagerly anticipates the opportunity to return to space and share the experience with his wife. While the cost of privately chartered Starship flights remains undisclosed, the interest from private individuals underscores the potential commercial viability of SpaceX's revolutionary rocket. However, the recent setback in the second test flight raises questions about the timeline for such commercial ventures and the broader implications for the emerging space tourism industry. In conclusion, SpaceX's super-heavy Starship, despite facing challenges and setbacks, remains a symbol of humanity's ambition to venture beyond Earth. The recent test flight failure underscores the complexities and risks inherent in pushing the boundaries of space exploration. As SpaceX works to address the issues encountered, the global space community eagerly awaits the next chapter in the Super Heavy Starship saga. The journey toward becoming a multiplanetary species is fraught with challenges, but each setback provides an opportunity for reflection, learning, and ultimately, progress in the pursuit of unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos.